people are the purple butterfly here, otherwise known as people of seven on Twitter and YouTube, people are elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com, and my folks can be purchased at people dot etsy dot com. And I've come to show you a couple of things actually. Hold on. No, that ain't going to work. Let's see. Let's find some place to put this name. Alright. Kettle stove are always good for lamps. Alrighty then. Yeah, that's better. Can you see me now? <laughs> anyway. Wow, you cracking up in there. <laughs> anyway, most of you know about this silly mode that I have that's supposed to hold 40 ounces, and basically I can fit a whole three pound loaf in there, but it bevels out whenever I use it. Whether I fill it up or not, it bevels out. So some of my soaps end up with this shape wider at the top, uh, wider in the middle, narrow on the ends. Well, Carrie Thornsberry in the Soap and 101 group, they had a yard sale over the weekend, and I got two of these. This has a lid, yay, and a silicone liner is a two-pound mode, mind you, and all this came wrapped up in plastic as if it was new, even though it's a used mode that smells like soap that I'm trying to figure out if that's a dragon blood smell or, you know, it's a good smell of soap. <laughs> I could tell you that much. But anyway, look at this thing. It's handmade even. If it's not handmade, it certainly looks handmade. And it breaks down. These are wing nuts on both sides, which means this is a straight pig. But you could break it down and store it flat, or you could leave it like this. It's completely heat safe, which means I can see pop it. And this pops down in there nice and neat. Which means it'll come out of there nice and neat. I'm going to go make some soap with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because not only, oh, I'm putting that on there backwards, okay. Not only do I have this one, I got this one. So. Oh, the best part. It's stacked up. It's probably not made to actually stack up, but it's so evenly made, it actually stacks on top of each other. And the little pegs for the um, grooves to hold the base on, I could probably stick something in there to anchor it to make it stay put. I'm not worried about all that. But look what was in the pocket. I got the rainbow mica. Every color except for the blue. And I have a blue mica, so, you know, I also have a blue awesome rain. But this is the, what is it, yellow. There's a pink, which looks like red. There's a red that looks like a brick. There's a purple that actually looks purple. And hopefully... Because, you know, I've had some issues with purples in the past. Hopefully this will be purple when it's done. I got a green. It's a really pretty green, too. It's almost like a Kelly. Look at that. And there's an orange. I almost said a orange, but linguistically speaking, you're supposed to say an. A for vowels and for... No, what? A for consonants. And for vowels. I also am one of those old school people that remember I before E, except at the C, then use E I, except with special words, and then here's the little special words. And I'm not going to go through all that. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. And on my way home, I didn't get one bit of coconut oil, I got two of them. <laughs> And that one feels like it's leaking a little bit. Anyway, between these two things of coconut oil and, of course, 
some hair gear. You know me, my headband. And the one I was wearing. I won't be boring during school day because I got enough headbands and clips and whatnot to last me for the whole school. Year. Of course, some of those won't make it to the end of the school year, but that's why you buy extra. As also, I bought extra because when I'm done with this, I'm going to go to this. And then I got what a little bit is left of the original jar that I have in there. And I've already ordered a, another eight pound bucket, but I know that's going to take two weeks to get here or three days. Come on now. It's rush hour. When it comes to soaping, you got back order time, so forth and so on. Stuff is going to take two weeks, especially if I look at my wallet and go, okay, I can afford this, or I'm going to put this on hold, and then I don't order it for a week. So that's what I call rush hour ordering. It's like my MG shopping cart, I finally figured out, hey, wait a minute, there's a wish list thing, because I consistently had over 100 bucks worth of cents or this or that, and finally I said, hey, wish list, wish list, and then the quickest way to order something is just click add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, even if you're not going to order it, so then I just go back and say add to wish list, add to wish list, add. so that way you're only clicking, you know, twice, instead of, okay, wish list, now I got to scroll down this page, then I add it to the wish list, then I continue shopping, then I do this over and over and over again. Or well, if you have a shopping cart that's got 20 things in it, you could click select all, click wish list, boom, done. I'm all about simplicity. Because simplicity is how you like my hair. I found this gel, which I didn't bring in here. It's called Echo Scholar Clear or Crystal. Something like that. It's see through. It smells almost like aloe and a little bit of um, lime. Anyway, as y'all know, I've given up on gels. It always had that hard crunchy. Look at there. It's just as soft as my hair is. The curl pattern has popped. It's holding the curl. And if I want, I can still pull it down to the left my hair actually is. And pop it right back up there. So this is a gel I think I'm going to like. It doesn't, it says anti-itch, anti-crunchy, anti-flake, anti-frizz. And yep, I agree it does all that. But I've noticed, and maybe that's because it says um, hold level 10. By the time my hair dries, there's no itch, but there's a, oh, I <laughs> And that's not painful, but when I had it brushed into a ponytail, or actually a power puff, it felt like it was just, pull I mean, I literally took my rubber band out and just kind of, you know, and then put it back in. And that wouldn't have been so funny, except for I was in a little career meeting and I just couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> so I had to do something. Nobody said anything. They're used to me being quirky, I guess. You know, and at church, I'm subdued on my quirky, but they're still used to my quirky. Anyway, this is the People of 7 on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com, and my social media purse is at people.fc.com. And I'm thinking, this one is going to have my dish bar soap in it, because I have requests to make more of that. And then... <laughs> There's probably going to be another shampoo bar. I will keep you posted. All I know is I'm off of work. It's 6.43, which means I have time to make a batch of soap before it's bedtime. So, stay blessed, stay tuned. I'll show you what I make. Bye now.